This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Audible. Hey, I'm Daria Musk. On today's show, go behind the scenes in the studio with me and my producer. Welcome to Geek Beat TV. Yay, Daria is here today. I'm so excited. I love Daria. She's an awesome musician. And of course, David Foster, who is an actual musician as well. I have no yeah, idea um, what mixers one, do. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you will after today. Quick, David. Question. Okay. What was the last audio book you listened to? Since we're talking audio. Uh, what would Google do? All about elegant organization. Oh, that's a good one. Since Daria is on Hangouts on Air on Google Plus, uh, you guys can listen to audio books when you're not listening to music, uh, and you can find all sorts of things. Over a hundred thousand titles on Audible podcast.com/geekbeat and if you go to that link you get a free audiobook just for yourself. Daria, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Hi, Gally. Hi, David. Hi. And your producer? Yes, this is Ram behind the scenes. You're seeing what goes on behind <laughs> the scenes. A lot of this guy pushing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Now, there may be a couple people out there i i have a hard time believing it uh but there might be some people who aren't familiar with you daria uh so let's talk about who you are you were basically the pioneer of doing music on google plus with hangouts i was we were and um it completely changed my life overnight and it's been just the coolest gift and the coolest thing that's happened to me ever um i'm totally grateful for it all the time and uh yeah i'm excited to talk about kind of the behind the scenes of that story today too because it was playing through the hangouts for the first time meeting these unbelievably tech savvy geeky beautiful fans all over the world even just in that very first night a few years ago that um ended up inspiring one of the biggest companies in the world google to make hangouts on air which didn't exist uh when we first started so um that was pretty crazy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell you about that stuff so obviously we know the ins and outs of this thing especially when it comes to music uh pretty well because we got to be there at the beginning and and like talk to engineers and and tell them what we wanted and that said, is awesome yeah. it was funny to sit there and with a boardroom of of googlers saying what did you do we didn't expect anybody to use it like <laughs> <laughs> and and why why did you start using it? I mean, you you if I remember correctly, you were just wanting to play and you just got on one day, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um I always say I, you know, I'm just a singer-songwriter. I was trying to break like uh a lot of my heroes by playing clubs and um staying away from things like The Voice and American Idol uh and trying to like, you know, slog it out and hit <laughs> down the pavement and I'm grateful for all of those shows that I did. I started playing out when I was really little. Um guys like him and uh my mom would sneak me into clubs so that I could play before I was old enough to be in there. <laughs> um and I think that set me up for being really comfortable with playing live, which has been really great for me. I feel like everything that great that's happened to me in my career has happened because of live performance. Um so I wouldn't have been prepared for this if I hadn't done all of those shows with, you know, like singing for the bartender or singing <laughs> over over espresso machines that are, you know, squealing in little cafes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what that's But, like. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. But after a particularly, you know, crappy gig um with this I always talk about how I'm lugging my amps through the rain, I'm getting drenched. Uh my big brother called and said, uh there's this new social network. I have a beta invite. That was it. It was as simple as that. We we logged on and saw hangouts and thought maybe I could use this to play a show without having to lug my amps through the rain. So that was it. <laughs> and it, and it turned out really well for for you. Three and a half million followers on Google Plus over that. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It, it it it's really something. Like I said, I'm just really grateful. Um, you know, those early concerts were as long as six hours, seven hours, eight hours, as people were rotating in and out of like the ten windows that you can get into the hangout because. Yeah. <laughs> I was so excited to play for anybody that, that once they showed up I didn't want to stop and I just kept going so that we could sing for as many people as possible. <laughs> so, so I hope that shows the like the gratitude and the sort of sparkle that that these guys I call them geniuses the fans out there um so we got the geeks and geniuses together today. Uh yeah. they Light me up so much and I will continue to just to sing until I fall over for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> So so now I know um like a lot of people uh a lot of musicians are looking to do something like this and you know they 
real, like I've seen people just use a laptop and yeah. or whatever, and they kind of get, uh, they get a sound, but it's definitely not like your sound sounds like you're in the studio listening to you. And so I'm really curious. That's like the biggest thing to learn how you put that together. Cause it sounds amazing. Thank you so much. And I, yeah, I'll give a lot of credit and Ram, obviously you can chat with us too here. Well, that, um, was, that was the one thing that we did, um, differently that when we decided to try the hangout we decided to run the studio through into the computer uh as opposed to just use the laptop yeah and but it's so, not just that simple running it through the computer yeah. i mean come on <laughs> just take a cord and plug it in you're good to go right we are going to actually like i think for the first time really yeah. like share some of our uh, I don't know if, if we should call them secrets, but they're sort of best practices and tips yeah. and yeah, stuff that we do for sure. Um, so I don't know if you want me to show you a diagram. Uh, oh, if you I, have we, one, that would thought, be fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys ready to get, you're ready to get geeky. Yes. Um, we're ready to geek let's, out. Let's do it. This is as geeky as I get. Um, <laughs> you guys actually mentioned to me before this interview, they're like, Hey, maybe, maybe make a diagram so people can really see what's going in and out with a really hardcore tech side of it. Um, this is my version of that. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How I would explain it because Wait I'm a, a dork. Is that, I, I don't know. Is that a rubber, rubber ducky? I'm definitely a dork. Um, <laughs> Did, well, wait, we what did you just say? Down I said, it? is that a rubber ducky down there in the right hand? I was like, just show whatever your band sounds like, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever instruments you want to put, you can do anything. Nice. Um, <laughs> and, um, so I should say, uh, you know, we've done hangouts now, it's so fun. We've done concerts all over the world. We, we did, uh, you know, in, in Times Square with like the fans' faces on the screens in Times Square. And we've done them in, you know, cafes and on the road and in the back of trucks. And, Absolutely. you know, um, yeah. And, and also the, big companies uh, like Verizon, I believe, and, and other yeah. major companies uh, have you at their events. Yeah, it's it's been really fun. But this, uh, what I'm about to explain here, yes. is really the basic of what we do um, when we're do going from a studio like this or when we're going from a big event and we want to get really sweet sound. Um, so like you said, it's not as simple if you want to get high fidelity, like gorgeous sound. It's not as simple as just opening up your laptop. But what's cool is it's not too hard. Um, and so if you want, we can go through this. Yes, let's do um, it. So for all the musicians and geeks out there, and Ram, you can help walk me through this, but you got your laptop or your computer right here. Uh, you want that etherneted in. No Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi is wonky and things could go bad. Um, <laughs> so you got your laptop going into the ethernet. And we can post this online later. Oh, yeah, you fantastic. Um, okay, cool. And I can send it to you. Um, then I actually set things up so you can see sort of, this is sort of the important gear. Okay over here That's i have a, a little mixer oh i got it right i was saying mixer in my head <laughs> i heard it i heard it <laughs> I got two mixers here i'll explain uh so we have a little mixer i have an apogee duet but you can use rim it's like just any digital any interface audio, yeah. any audio interface so. right any all uh, any audio interface that you're happy with we dig this one it's not that expensive it's sweet. which also, apogee is it this is the apogee duet um, oh, it's not even the fanciest, newest one. It's one we've been using for years. Um, and then this is like a little vocal pedal. I can talk about this in a sec. Um, and so that's the, okay, I will go. So then we go to the music. So you got your microphone, you got guitars, you got your bass player like right over there. You got, <laughs> um, you got whatever your band is, whatever your sound is. Uh, this can be a computer with tracks or your rubber ducky or your kazoo or whatever <laughs> you want. Um, for us, these are going into like, what would be a, like a front of house mixer for okay. us. This is not this one, but that one over his shoulder, Those over bigger that one. Oh. And the only reason we're using that is to get more of a full band sound, putting the instruments through that, get a little bit of effects if you want, mm -hmm. but basically that's the band over there. Um, if now, you were, hold on, like, I'm going to, I'm going to stop you right there. That, I'm gonna make it simpler too, I promise. But. <laughs> no, that looks like a big daddy, whatever. Mixer, yes. Yeah. It, it, if somebody doesn't have that or use it on. Uh, yeah. You could actually just go through this one. That's what I was. Uh, so we have 
We have 24 inputs over here. We only have uh, eight or 12 over here. Yeah, what I was going to explain is that's kind of our band. We're sort of like a duo, and then we're producing tracks, mm -hmm. and we're doing all sorts of cool stuff. So just consider that our band. What's easy, if you just have, like, you and the guitar, um, like the vocal and the, and the guitar, uh, you can go straight into this guy or straight ah. into the duet, even. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's just so that we can have more channels. Well, but and I, I know that on, like, Amazon and stuff, you can actually get two-channel, you know, if you only have two, you can get a two-channel yeah. Or you can get a four, you can get a 16 and eight. So it's exactly. like, and they all vary by price. So you can find exactly. something that's affordable for whatever your budget is. Totally, totally. So that's, that's what's going on there. You can go straight in uh, to the duet if you only have two, duet two, if you have vocal and guitar <laughs> or something like that. Um, or if you have more of a band, you can do this rubber ducky band that we're doing. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So this stuff is going into the small mixer. So like we said, we could skip that step and just go Got straight Got it. In. Okay. Um, this is again, just to be able to have control over levels, stuff like that. Right, Ram? Yeah. The, the main reason I'm using this is, is so that we can control the, uh, the talk back from, from you guys. Mm -hmm. So what right. is you get, you get a feedback problem in the loop. So we, we sort of, it's like a mix minus thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so right, before we go yeah. on again, I'm just going to keep stopping you when, uh, when I hear something, I, I know what mix minus is, but I know a lot of people don't mm -hmm. know what mix minus is. So explain that real quick. You want to explain that really oh, quick? Maybe David could explain it better. David? <laughs> well, it's this, okay, mix minus is like if you're doing an interview, for instance, and I'm listening to you talk, I don't want everyone to hear both of us because you'll get feedback and an echo. So I, I turn myself down for you so you hear just one thing coming through right. and it's not doubled up. Exactly. So, and yeah. so that way you don't get a feedback loop. Exactly. Yeah, because it'll be like an echo to your listeners. Sorry. Exactly. Right. Yeah. It's not a good so it's, no. it's actually, it sounds complicated. It's actually simple to do. You mm -hmm. just can mute that. Um, and that is all represented right here by these little happy faces saying hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys talking back to us. Awesome. So that's coming for us out of the duet and back in so that it can come to our headphones. Nice. Uh, and that's how we hear you. And that's how we hear everything that's going on because it's all going into here and all going to the headphones. It's also all going out and into the duet, which is going into the computer, which is going to the world. And that's how we do it. Uh -huh. That's awesome. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> and then if there's a lot of fan noise, we can just mute those tracks so we don't hear them while we're playing. Right. Um, and, and what I think is, uh, is going to be fun is I'm also happy to talk you guys through the hangout side of it because Yes. I love, I, I'm always talking about how this thing changed my life. And I've seen, like you said, David, other people doing it now. Um, and it makes me ho so happy to like sort of bushwhack a trail and, and sort of, I always say, I, I felt like I accidentally discovered like an instant live global music venue, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I said before, the reason I ended up in here was because I didn't find the kinds of venues that I needed out in the world. There's not that many ways to break anymore um, besides online and besides just, you know, putting out tracks that you've already made. If you want that, that feeling, that kinetic, like electric feeling of playing for people live in the moment and having them respond to you in the moment, this is what I discovered is maybe the best way to do that. Well, and like world. as a musician myself, I mean, I went through the playing the bar scene and, you know, in yeah. smoky bars and all that. And you're you're playing to people that are talking over you. And this is kind of a way to connect with a community that, that is interested in what you're playing. And you don't have to weed out the people who don't because they just don't come. So exactly. it's, it just creates a community around your music. And I think that's awesome. Yeah, and those people could be in, you know, those 10 people could be in 10 different countries mm -hmm. while they're listening to you. And then now because of Hangouts on Air, like we are right now, that can also broadcast live to an unlimited number of people who are mm -hmm. watching. I, um, I think the important thing that people overlook is that you're connecting with the world for as long as you want for free. Mm -hmm. so it's crazy. If you think about that, I mean, back in the days <laughs> when, when you had regular phones, just making a call like overseas was was a nightmare. And now, <laughs> I, I know people have Skype and they're paying money to. Uh, well, and it, <laughs> it's okay, Daria. It's okay. I, I'm right there with you. Well, and if you think about it too. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the phone used to be attached to a wall. And okay. Cord, yeah. I don't remember this yeah. that well. A little vaguely. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's like I said, totally life changing. And I love the idea of sharing like the simple ways of doing it so that more and more people can do it. Uh, this is a stage that we're kind of building together right now. And I love 
those moments in life where you look around and you go, there should be something better than this. Like there should be something different. And then you kind of go, Oh, are we the ones that get to do it? Like, are we the ones that get to do something different? And, um, I think we are. And I think we're all kind of building this stage together now. So, um, well, and I just want to mention too, the, the, the deeper connection to the audience, you know, that you get, that you wouldn't get going to regular concerts because you're like being intimate with them. And I think that also is a, an a added plus. No. It, it is really like the the face to face thing really takes away a barrier. There's something wonderful about being live uh, in a room with people, and I, I can tell you in a little bit how we're starting to now merge the two worlds, which has been really wild. But um, this like immediacy, this eye contact thing, um, and people being able to join like we've had people join in their pajamas, in their hospital beds, in their backyards, in their you know like, and it sort of just levels the playing field between everybody. And there's no more pedestal of you being so far away. And you find that people hear the lyrics and they ask you questions and you laugh and you stay up all night. And it's just, like I said, kind of life changing and amazing. Um, and we have now taken that into the like real world. Um, and now I can actually show you. I have some pictures. I'm all about show and tell today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we do now is we go on stage and we put the hangouts on screens behind us wherever we go. So we go and play real shows. Oh. And see that. So the fans and the geniuses are like bigger than, like their noses are bigger than my entire body. <laughs> usually. Um, and it's really so much fun. And oh, we have this amazing awesome. effect of like the room being full, filled with people, but then everybody else um, on the screen and you have this 360 degree like love fest and it's just killer. That's so. awesome. <laughs> that is really, really cool. So how are you, I know that originally when you first started doing this, you would take requests from the hangouts, from the, from the 10 people who are in and you would talk to them in between the sets and you are an amazing performer from an audience interaction uh, standpoint. Uh, but I'm just wondering now in how you're merging the two worlds, how are you really involving them outside of, you know, having them on screen? Um, I sort of do it the same way. Okay. It's just all evolved and, um, and inspiring these new ways of doing things. So I still do just the pure hangout concerts. Um, we have another one coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, and I love doing that so much. And then we love bringing it to the stage. And what happens is, yeah, we share, um, the people on screen on stage. Like when we do that, they'll show like signs and say hi and say where they are. And we'll stop and talk to them and find out what time it is and whether they've stayed up all night in their country to be able to be there. And there's actually, what your hips yeah uh, where where everybody hangs out together yeah absolutely and you know there was a really funny moment we did a concert in new york um a little while back where it got to the point where it was so interactive so 360 degree interactive that i left the stage we finished our last song and the people in the screen around the world started talking to the people in the audience oh. and like hey, you guys like That's what are you amazing. like what's up what you guys drinking like what's happening <laughs> I had a Ferris Bueller moment. I came out around the corner and I was like, it's over. Like, what are you guys <laughs> And um, we ended up doing like six more encores because nobody wanted to leave because they were having so much fun. And it was, uh, you know, things like that are just so just so cool for us and so much fun. And I love that it takes on a life of its own, you know? Mm -hmm. That is really, really cool. <laughs> So yeah. can, can we geek out for a second? Because I, I have a couple questions just for people who might wonder. Now that you're talking about being hooked up to the internet and stuff like that, is there a recommended speed? You know, because the, the, you get the really good quality. And I know that some people, it kind of lags sometimes and it gets choppy, the audio. What do you yeah. recommend in that area? Definitely. And, um, and I won't say that I'm always the, the best. And we do so when we go out in the world, we do have some teams that help us, you know, make sure that we have the fastest internet we can have in each venue. And that's actually changed the way we pick venues to play. Now the first question is like, how's your internet speed <laughs> where yeah. it used to be like, how's the stage or, you know, like <laughs> how many people can you fit? Um, which is really funny. So it's, it's definitely informed how we pick where we go, which is great. Even if it's, uh, like, you know, this summer we did this big concert in Boston from the back of a truck using uh, like a 4G Wi-Fi crazy thing. Um, but uh, I think what it is, is it really the fastest you can get. Like I said, Ethernet's the best. I believe like 10 up, 10 down is like what you want to aim for at least. Um, and yeah, just trying to get it speedy. And, and also if you want to geek out more, um, 
I think the other cool thing is that, so this is like the audio side, this yeah. is the music side. And then for everybody that wants to do audio, the music into the hangouts, uh, there's a whole virtual end of this, of like setting up the hangout itself that I can tell you guys kind of, there's a few tricks of the trade and, and best practices in there if you want me to yes, uh, definitely. get into that. Okay, <laughs> See, and, and you feel free to help, help along, Ram. But um, I want to show you guys, but if I screen share, we'll go into that thing with like <laughs> a million of us. So I'll just tell you, if you're in the hangout, uh, what you want to do is, is set up a hangout on air um, and you can test it without inviting anybody and like set it to private if you want to just goof around and not have everybody laughing at you trying things at first. <laughs> um, and then you can start inviting all your but friends that's the and, fun all of it. Friends and become a superstar. <laughs> About setting up hangouts, um, hangout events and hangouts on air, that side of it, not the audio side. Um, I would definitely direct you to like do searches, go to like uh, hang out, you know, with the Geek Beat crew. And like, there's a guy named Ronnie Bincer who's got like really amazing posts about setting up the event side of it. I won't bore you with that. Cause that's like a lot of people are really good at that. Um, I think we're good at the audio part. So you get your hangout on air set. Okay. Um, and that's easy. You just, like I said, go look it up, but it's simple. You go to events and Google plus and you just set one up. And then once you're in here, uh, right up at the top, you have your universal like settings gear uh, right up here and you click the settings gear and you want to make sure you have, I'm using just a simple webcam, the like the Logitech C920. Um, mm -hmm. It's not expensive. Yeah, um, I think that's like $129 mm -hmm. or something. That's yeah, my camera it's, choice I think it's too. industry standard. It's like what all my fans told me they were using. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then what you want to do is um, you want to set up so that your duet, and I'm actually going to do it now while I talk to you guys, you're going to set so that your duet or whatever your audio interface is, is your, um, is what you're getting, um, sorry, uh, what you're getting your audio through. Okay. Cool. Then when you're talking, you're going to be on the setting that you see down here called voice. But when you go to play music and we'll show you the difference between these two things, if you want, because it's really cool, you're going to switch from voice over to studio mode when you go to start playing. And studio mode is something we're really, really psyched about and also really, really, really proud of. Um, because when we first started doing our early concerts, we were, as I showed you in my, wait, in my diagram, um, we were listening this is the first time this is going to make sense to people. I've told this story. Ah. <laughs> I'm telling it now. So this is how this this happened. We were listening off of the board and with oh, our little Oh yeah. And so we thought we sounded like awesome because we were like, <laughs> yeah, all right, we got the thing. It sounds so good. Um, people were digging it. We we're like, this is great. Party life changed. Everybody's happy. Um, what we found out was that the fans listening from the computer were hearing this horrible version of what we were doing. Like that, distorted and everything? Not, not even just distorted, but the early Hangouts, um, and when you're in voice mode, they have a really smart noise cancellation codexes in there so that, you know, your voice will sound good. And um, so if you're in a cafe, like someone will hear you talking, but the problem was with it, it thought that the music was all background noise. So my voice sounded okay, but the <laughs> instrument stuff sounded kind of like they were being flushed down the toilet. <laughs> 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 so we found this out because there were, it was so cool. There were, there, there were these new geniuses. These fans were like bootlegging, virtually bootlegging those early concerts. Um, so we found YouTube videos of them like screencasting what they were watching. And we went, oh no, that sounds <laughs> terrible. Um, and so uh, when we did eventually get to meet the, the people, the genius, gen like real geniuses at Google who <laughs> built Hangouts, there's a guy named Chi Chu and all the cool people that made this possible. Um, and they said, this is ridiculous. We never expected anyone to do this. Uh, what else can we do to help you and more people like you? We said, please make it sound good for music. Um, <laughs> so, so we wanted a switch that we could right. switch on mm -hmm. uh, HD audio and then switch back to the... Exactly. And so they tinkered with it for a while um, and you got studio mode. So now everybody across the board, when you do a hangout on air, you can go in there and see voice. I would suggest still using voice when you're talking yeah. um, because studio mode does turn off all the noise cancellation stuff. So you can get a little funky with echo if you're not careful. That is definitely one of our little tricks or tips that we would be sharing here today uh, privately with all of the geeks is that if you're doing a hangout concert, uh, tell your fans to mute during the songs, mute themselves. Yeah. Um, and you switch to studio mode, you sing your butt off, 
tell your fans to mute, then have them unmute to clap and stuff at the end. And if you don't mind, you know, go back in there and even switch back to voice. You don't always have to do that. But if someone says, hey, I'm hearing some echo, go switch back to voice while you chat in between songs. And that's what we do just for like safety. Mm -hmm. um, now, do you have somebody riding those uh, viewer controls and muting people when they are not doing it themselves? So I'm, I notoriously like put the type A and artist. Um, I don't really <laughs> have like, like, this is my team. Like you are seeing the team right now. Uh, bump for the team. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we go out and we do big shows, yeah, we have a backstage crew who's amazing, who helps us do this stuff because at that point I'm on stage and there's a guitar in my hands and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, not enough to able to do anything. But yeah. When I'm, yeah. When I'm going like this, to be honest, when we do our concert, it's just me doing this and I just go click, click, change it. You know, and okay. I just uh, do it in between songs and it and it works fine. And the audience um, can actually help out that way, too. They can mute each other. So, you know, they can look out for you uh, as a participant. Yeah. And I found that, um, you know, the, the etiquette that's sort of uh, emerged in these concerts has now influenced the way people do them um, across the board. And I'm so sort of honored to just be a part of the group uh, of the family, this global family that, that is like the geniuses and my fans and the people that, um, that we, the ones, I mean, to be honest, I I'm honored to be an honorary geek today. Um, I wouldn't normally put myself on such a high, um, pedestal. You know, I, I think we're really music geeks and music nerds. That's all uh, that, but, that's all that being geek is, is all about yeah. to us, you know, it's mm -hmm. just being passionate yeah. about but your the, passion. Yeah, but the fans, the fans were the ones who were passionate about the technology mm -hmm. and taught us about it. There was, um, oh, there is a wonderful guy named Cam who um, was one of the first people who said, hey, we could stream this while you're playing. Um, and so Cam put it through... Um, through, yeah, uh, Ustream at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then people were able to watch through that. And then there was another really great guy who had a YouTube Live account before we had one and said, hey, you can use my YouTube Live account, like put it through that. And that's what made it embeddable, like into the little players that people could post around on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after that, um, Google put the whole thing together that Hang we had MacGyvered with our fans and made it into Hangouts on Air. So we're very happy to announce today that you don't have to go through all those steps. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just do the one thing. Oh, and I love that it's like, like a, it's just a, like a live YouTube video, you know, and I love yeah. that you can embed it wherever you want. You can mm -hmm. put it on your website or share it online. And, um, those things have been really fun. And I think are really great ways to get new eyeballs too. If there are musicians watching this saying like, I want to do this. Those are, you know, that's other, you know, the other side of the music thing is just trying to get people to hear you. And there is now like this wonderful community that wants to listen to you, I think, on, on YouTube and on Google Plus, um, who are looking for Hangouts, which is great. But now, you know, you can also do a Hangout on Air, take the code that it makes for you and embed it on your blog, call up, you know, um, you know, music blogs or tech blogs and have them embed it on there. Those are some of the things that we did in the early days. Um, and those things are really there's so much fun you can have with it. There's no way that we've all figured out all the different versions of this that you can do yet, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let's, <laughs> let's explore the whole idea for artists a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but the promotion piece, the I exploration of, of finding an audience out there. Obviously, you were a pioneer, and so you kind of built that up, and you were the person to watch. Um, but for people starting out now, you say there are places to go and, and a community ready to watch. How do you find those people? Yeah, um, absolutely. I would say it's just as simple as, you know, it's it's so fun. Uh, Google and YouTube, you know, are like the, the two biggest search engines on the internet, right? Um, and they're really good at search. So if you go onto Google Plus or onto YouTube and you search for Hangouts or you search for music Hangouts or I call them Hangout Concerts, um, you'll start to see, they're like, there's communities of fans that are built around, please definitely come and say hey to me. Like you can tweet me and, uh, you know, uh, talk to me on Google Plus and on Facebook and on, you know, anywhere on YouTube. Um, and I always try to write back to everybody. So definitely reach out and I will point you in the right direction too. But um, you can start to find all these fans who are watching other concerts, who are doing other concerts. There's some great communities that you can find. There's um, my music hangouts, 
um, on on Hangouts uh, on Google Plus is a great community. They do Hangouts, I think, like weekly. They do sort of open mics and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, there's, yeah, there's lots of stuff that you can find. And I would definitely suggest that those open mics are a great way to jump in if you're not ready to, like, produce your own show yet, you know? Um, and again, I would shout out to Ronnie. Uh, he does a lot of stuff about doing really professional broadcasts. You can learn about that. But I would say... Um, yeah, you know, whatever kind of musician you are, it's sort of like that old thing. Just think about where you would go to listen to stuff or or what you would be searching for and search for that and just get on there and start sharing your, your stuff with well, the you world. Know, you know what's funny is there. I've been looking in Dallas locally for a place to go to an open mic yeah. night and I never it never occurred to me to even look at you know, doing it as a hangout. That's yeah. funny because so, you're such a hang, you do hangouts right. and you love hangouts. Exactly. But, but I've always done them businessy, you know, like connecting yeah. with people on it, but I never thought about using it for music. So that's pretty cool. It's fun. Yeah. I think people know this like really polished side of, of hangouts now. Yeah. And it's so cool that hangouts on air have gotten to that. But for everybody was that, that was there at the very beginning, hangouts were us, you know, people all over the world in their pajamas, like <laughs> <talking about> stuff. <laughs> And eating popcorn, like, and they were very silly and very laid back. They still are. Um, and that's something that I, I really cherish, that that community that gets built through these things. And if you reach out, you open up some Hangouts, you can start even with without it being on air. You can start yeah. with that early version that we broke in before Hangouts on Air existed, which is 10 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, even just start cutting your teeth doing that. And like I said, yeah, there are a lot of Hangout open mics. I think there's, there's artists in the plus, there's... Um, my music hangouts, I love. Um, and if you search and get involved in those communities, they will start pointing you in all the right directions okay. too. And maybe we should even host an open mic or something. They're really fun um, and definitely exist. Virtual open mic, killer. There's no awesome. line. You don't have to wait. Uh, and, you, <laughs> and you don't have to deal with like what you were talking yeah, about. People just talking and, over yeah, you talking and not caring. And... <laughs> There's no drink minimum. You can be 13. You can be 30 million years old. You can be, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Um, and I also love that. I always notice that generally, generationally, like across the board, like there's yeah. all different ages. There's all different kinds yeah. of people. We have, you know, friends and fans now in, you know, Indonesia and in Africa <laughs> and in Japan and everybody's all in there together. And that is like, that's a really, really beautiful thing. I feel I, like I I've, think one thing, I've seen the world through their laptops, you know, and it's really cool. One thing that's really unique to this is that the people who are in the hangout actually become friends amongst themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we've gone and played like in New York City or, or some local places here, they've all come to the concerts and for them, it was a party to get to know themselves more. So it was a very different kind of vibe. It was more like a reunion than it was a bunch of strangers. It is. Here, yeah. You know, an artist or something. Yeah, you go straight for a hug, you know? Yeah. There's yeah. no, there's there's nothing separating you after you've been through this. You'd think that virtual would be a step back from intimacy. And yeah. instead we found that it kind of, it's it exceeds step, it. It's like yeah. fast forward. Yeah, totally. That's what we've um, experienced with the Geek Beat community as well. And it, it's, a, it's a very powerful thing. So you guys, all of the show notes uh, will be down below. Just check the links to everything that Daria has talked about. We will get the map, the uh, little diagram, map diagram yeah, that she with the uh, rubber created. Ducky. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get it to look that, that good, but we'll I know, figure it out. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Daria, um, thank yeah. you so much for spending some time with us and taking us behind the scenes. Uh, we don't, nobody ever gets to do that. And so I really really appreciate that you so allowed welcome. us to Do you want us to give you a little bit of uh, like a demo of, of the sound totally so hear it? Yes. yeah yeah okay cool so um let's see do you want to hear a little bit of that difference you have time yeah have let's it? do it Great. So if you want, um, so for everybody watching, um, we can show you a little bit of how intense the difference between voice and studio mode is. Oh, okay, like, yeah. That's, that's something that, that is really cool, really changes the vibe. You want to do that? Sure. So why don't we, um, I'm in voice right now, um, so I'm just talking to you. And um, why don't we do a little bit of track? Um, oh, and one, one extra little uh, music dorky thing. Um, so you'll hear Ram will flip on my reverb as a singer, you get a little bit of reverb. You get a little Ooh. bit of something, yeah, to get you sounding nice uh, when you're singing. So he usually pops that on and off for me when I'm talking or when I'm singing. Um, sometimes, if I want to do it myself, I use a little vocal box like this. Uh, we really like boss gear, so this is a little vocal pedal. Uh, here, wait, turn it off for a sec. <laughs> um, 
this, this thing actually does a lot. You can loop your voice with it. Um, to be honest, I don't get too deep into that kind of stuff. There's, there's all sorts of fun toys in here. I pretty much usually just use the, uh, let's see when I put it on, there's a little like pop vocal reverb setting that I use. It's really, it's kind of gated. It's really simple, but it gives you a little bit of yeah, the pop preset on here is what I like. Um, so that's, yeah, you just get a little bit of sound. Um, and then Ram's going to be triggering, like I said, kind of our band off of the uh, off of the big board. And he's going to play live. I'll sing. And this is through voice, not studio mode. So okay. we'll show you what that sounds like first. We'll do a couple seconds. Ready? <clears throat> Hit it, maestro. <laughs> I watch the sun rise and no way through your laptop screen. I never felt so good. Okay. So. That's okay. no studio mode. That's okay. not studio. That's voice, yeah. which is the and regular you could, setting. You could hear it cut out a little bit. Yeah. Like. Yeah, could you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then, okay. And then we're going to go to studio mode. I am now in it. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's a huge that difference, a and that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, can you tell? It's like yes. it's a big difference, right? I'm, wow. I'm again taking your word for it because we're listening off the board. But, um, <laughs> well, but we have yeah, a nice so big that's, that's the speaker kind of right here. So <laughs> of that uh, of the two different sounds, um, and that's kind of how we do everything. Um, we're so happy to share this stuff with you guys, and um, you know we're gonna be doing actually for people who dig behind the scenes and stuff. Um, if I can tell you about some of the cool stuff that's going on with us, I'm really excited. Yes. We're going to be releasing like our very first really, really big album because all this stuff happened so fast that I didn't even get to make <laughs> like record. So uh, we're making our first record, but I didn't want to just disappear. And so behind the scenes is going to be a big part of our lives right now. We actually have a whole show that's going to be starting in the new year. Um, that's going to be the making of the record and live hangouts from the studio in a way that I don't think anyone's ever done them before and stuff like that. So all that's going to go down like on our YouTube channel. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, if people want to like subscribe, then we can, uh, then we can share all of that stuff with you guys. Um, and we really can't wait to bring people into this process more. Um, at the, the concerts and the fans inspired the songs and changed the way we do everything and changed the way we've seen the world. And, um, so yeah, thank you guys for, you know, changing all of this stuff and for being an active part of, uh, pushing forward this kind of leading edge of the way we're doing new concerts. Um, we're getting inspired by you guys all the time and I can't wait to, you know, read the comments and, and talk to all the geeks who are watching this and see what you guys do. And, um, please keep hitting me with more questions and, yes. you know, we're happy to keep helping everybody march this new like live <laughs> concert thing. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, you, I have nothing but love for you. You are an amazing oh, yeah. talent. You're an amazing person. Uh, and everybody thinks so. I've been watching the chat room this entire time and everybody's mm -hmm. adoring you. Uh, oh, <laughs> Hi, everybody. And, and also Moritz Talksdorf is in the chat room as well. Moritz, oh and my God. So okay. he's been paying I didn't, attention. I didn't mention Moritz. Oh, that's I'm a her. horrible, horrible person. No. Moritz. <laughs> Moritz is like one of our amazing men behind the scenes. Um, and I didn't think of him when you asked me about the team because he's 
actually here. Moritz is in Germany. He was one of the people that saw one of our concerts really early on. He is one of my dearest friends in the world now. We actually got to hang out in person recently. He was over in the States, which was great. Um, But Moritz was one of these people that really helped influence like how Hangouts on Air happened and how all of these things happened. We did an epic, epic, I think the hardest, most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. on New Year's, we did a 24 hour hangout. It was actually broken up into sections, um, half hour concerts in every time zone as midnight hit those time zones oh, wow. across the world. So we could celebrate with people from, we did from New Zealand to Hawaii. And Moritz was virtually in Germany in the hangout with us, helping to uh, make that possible. And that was in the early, like, I think, like hang- yeah, I think Hangouts on Air had just been like fully created or fully released. And the thing was so new that the traffic we were getting and the amount of people that were trying to join was completely frying the servers or something and everything was falling apart. And the hangouts were running like an old, you know, lawnmower that you had to start like five times to get it to run properly. And he was the guy that stayed up with us all night. I mean, even when you fell asleep, I remember between between California and Hawaii, there's some ocean there. And I remember (laughs) hearing like from the couch back there, like, and I were like, like, no, we're not done yet. (laughs) Well, I'm sure he would be very willing to help answer questions as well if anybody has some technical follow-ups or, or suggestions or anything like that. Moritz is always watching and paying mm-hmm. attention to that kind of stuff. So Yeah, he's an amazing guy and someone we adore. We love you. <laughs> well, we love you, and thank you again so mm-hmm. much. We appreciate it. All the links below, of course. Uh, and go follow her on Google+. Plus, plus.com, plus.google.com <laughs> slash, wait. Google. No, Google.com. <laughs> forward slash plus. Um, slash. Plus Daria Musk. But even easier, like I said, all the new stuff is going to be living on YouTube now, which I'm really excited about. And that channel is going to get all spruced up and fancy soon. So, uh, yeah, YouTube slash Daria Musk is a good way that you can connect with both the Hangouts and that's, oh, maybe something I didn't mention. Extra P.S., Hangouts are powered by YouTube, which is so sweet because we all know YouTube is like the music discovery platform of the world now. Mm -hmm. So your Hangouts will automatically stream to YouTube and they will archive into your YouTube um, video manager. So yeah, so go hang out with us over there too because it's all the same thing, which is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you go go do what she just said. Go hang out with her, follow her. Everything she posts is awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, it it was awesome meeting you officially, uh, virtually. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more and I'm gonna actually start looking for an open mic night. (laughs) Awesome, do it. And definitely come, you know, guest star with us or something. love that and um it's been so great to see you guys Callie I love you David you're awesome um and thank you so much do you guys want us to like play you out or something do it you got another song yeah sure all right we're just gonna leave you uh to do your thing I didn't hear any acorns oh did you see my acorn post (laughs) most of them fell I think there was sort of one weekend where they were just (laughs) all coming down for people who don't know what we're talking about I did a post about how I I bought a little stuffed animal to appease the acorn gods because we're actually out in the middle of the woods right now um, in Connecticut and uh, yeah when the fall hits the acorns hit and (laughs) it's not good when you're trying to record vocals and you're getting bang pow bam (laughs) on the roof Um, yeah take us out Daria Okay, well, thank you guys so much. Um, this is a song that that uh, I was excited to play for you guys today called LED Heart because this is kind of our geeked out, like, tech love song, thinking about um, just how beautiful you guys are and this connection that we have is virtual, but it's also, you know, so emotional. And that's what the song is about. So we love you. Thank you, Eeks. Thank you, Geniuses. Thank you, Callie and David. And, um... Yeah, we're around. Come hang out with us. We love you. I'm going to switch to studio mode so you can hear the good sound. Um, And this is a song called LED Heart. It's an acoustic version. Jump a building seven stories high